So last week, I messed a scammer around by showing him pictures of ferns. I was really pleased with his reaction, so I decided to try the same thing again with a new scammer. It didn't take me long to find Mr. Hacker Villa, because he seems to have paid for a ridiculous amount of bots compared to some of the others. My personal favourite has to be, Thanks for being genius. I'm glad I meet you. This one comment section was completely overrun by this scammer, so I thought I should see what all the fuss was about. I went over to his profile, which had all the usual scammy red flags on it, a badly written bio, claiming to unlock your iPhone or any social media accounts, and a dodgy looking link at the bottom, which I'm not going to click on. Interestingly, he also has a little warning which reads, be aware of scammers with fake page. Hmm. I mean, it's good advice, but the pot's calling the kettle black here, isn't it? Further down, he's uploaded some completely professional pictures, as they all do. He's posted each one three times, for extra authenticity, perhaps? Most of them are just more warnings about fake accounts. Similarly to Mr. Spot Hack from last week, Mr. Hacker Villa here seems to be having a bit of trouble with imposter accounts. The hypocrisy of these people is quite fascinating. So anyway, to see if he really deserved those little trophies that he'd given himself in his bio, I gave him a message. I said, Hi, can you help me with something? He said, Yes, sure. And he immediately tried to video chat which is odd because usually video chats are reserved for the end of the conversation when they're really infuriated with you. I said, great, can you do hacking? He said, yes, sure. What hack service did you need? I said, can you hack YouTube? He said, yes. Okay, brilliant. He said, so what service did you need? I asked, can you steal me a video off of YouTube? He said, hope. You know service ain't free. I said, naturally. He said, $50. I said, wow, very good price. He said, you highly welcome. I said, a lot of the other hackers I spoke to, they tried to fleece me out of hundreds. He said, oh, $50 is the fixed price. I said, that's great. He said, duration 17 min. That's very specific. He said, what's your payment method? I asked, livestock? He ignored that and asked, can you do PayPal? I said, you don't want sheep. I've heard they're quite expensive these days. He clearly didn't want sheep because he said, what payment method did you have? And what's your currency? I said, I can do any method of payment and any currencies, for example. I sent these all as separate messages so that the noise would annoy him. Euro? Pound, dollar, rupee, ruble, yen, wands. He interrupted me before I could list any more. Dollar. I said, okay, great. He asked in past tense, did you have a PayPal? I said, yes, I do. He said, okay, I will send you a PayPal link. Then you tap and make donation. Then provided screenshot for confirmation. Now I wasn't going to tap any links because you never, ever, ever click a link that these people send you. I said, OK, shall do. He sent this link. Tap link and make $50 donation. I said, OK, great. I did send him a PayPal screenshot, but it was to do with Bitcoin instead, because he didn't ask for that. He said, you have Bitcoin. Just tap the donation link. Or can you send out Bitcoin? I said, this is PayPal. He sent a link again. Just tap this link and donate $50. I sent a different PayPal screenshot this time. This was one that a different scammer has sent as an example of how to make a payment. He said, yes. I said, ta-da. He said, $50. I said, why don't you take 200 Clearly, he was very willing to take advantage of my generosity because all he said was, continue. I said, I did. He said, show me screenshot for confirmation. Where it says done. I set the same example one again. I said, ta-da. He said, tap continue. 
is not sent. Tap continue. I said, it is sent. He said, show me screenshot. And hope you not making mistakes. He said, did you use the link I sent to you? I said, I already showed you the screenshot. Yes, I used the link. He said, show me the debit alert. Once you tap the link, you will get this. He sent another example of a payment. I said, I did get that. He said, and write 50. I said, I sent you it. He said, and donate it. And it will tell you donation completed. Then you make screenshot and send it to me. I said, I donate often. He said, show me. I said, hundreds of pounds this Christmas to a lot of charities. Salvation Army, Cancer Research. He said, okay, show me the screenshot. You show me was not correct. I said, how about this one? This time, I think it was Western Union that I showed him. He said, wait, can you send to family and friends option? Did you send it already? I said, yes. He sent me his email address for some reason. I said, okay, great. He said, show me screenshot of what it's telling so you won't make mistake. I sent Western Union again. He said, this not a legit payment. I said, yes, it is so. He said, show me full payment history. I sent a different Western Union again. He said, this Western Union, you are using a PayPal. I said, I thought it would be easier to use both simultaneously at the same time. He said, nope, PayPal is a different app. I said, you don't think so? He said, hope you're not trying to play my intelligence. I give you a link. It's easy to make donation. You just got to tap the link and donate $50. That's all. See example of a donation. He sent yet another link. I was getting rather annoyed at his links now. I said, okay, I think I understand it now. He sent another example. He said, you gone put $50 there. I said, yeah, I didn't get it before, but now I think I see what I have to do. And what I had to do was mess up his links. He said, show me screenshot. Let me see if you write or not. I sent Western Union again. He said, nope. Why Western Union? You don't need that. This is a PayPal payment. I said, there's just something groovy about the name. Western Union. It's just got a lovely ring to it. He said, you don't need that. He said, when you tap the link, what does it show? Tap the link. Well, he asked for it. I said, it shows a photo gallery, exclusively pictures of ferns. He said, screenshot that. Tap link first and show me the first page. You have Apple Pay or Cash App? Hmm? He tried to video chat again. You can feel the frustration building. It had given me time though to make a fake screenshot. So I said, here's the link that you gave. So I did the same thing as last week. Typed his link address into the search bar of a stock gallery and sent him the screenshot. He said, f*** you. And he tried to video chat again. Just get off here. I said, that's not very nice. Do you really hate ferns that much? It seems like an odd thing to hate, don't you think? But he didn't respond and I was immediately blocked. So I was quite pleased with his reaction, but I thought I could push him a bit further. I went to my other account, Tati Scone, and I found him again. He took the bait from my second account immediately, which was quite surprising. But that conversation went on for quite a lot longer than this one. So I'm going to save that for next time. So next week we'll see Hacker Villa here falling for the ferns for a second time.